Hi, this is Pat Milkey, and I'm just going to share with you a few ways that I um, try to create an online learning community when I'm teaching an online class. The particular class that I'm in, Blackboard Shell, that I'm in right now is for my blended instructional delivery class. But what I would like to do is share with you a variety of things that I've done to, um, which are also on the list of tools available for synchronous and asynchronous asyn communication. So one of the first things that I like to do is always make sure that I um, share with the students what we're working on. So that's the competency and the learning objectives. And then I also like to create a um, video preview so that the students are aware of um, how to navigate my particular nav my particular Blackboard site. This is an opportunity, as you can see, my picture is here as well as um, the shell itself. I'll just open this up for you to hear for a couple seconds. Hi, and welcome to Blended Instructional Delivery. My name is Pat Milken, and I'm going to be the facilitator of this course for you. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to give people a tour of my Blackboard shell. So you kind of get the gist of that, and that just helps the students um, become acclimated to your particular course. Now with the use of that standard Blackboard shell, that should be a little bit easier to do. But a video, or any time that you create a video, that would be considered the use of an asynchron asynchronous tool, easy for me to say. Um, other asynchronous tools available to you would be the discussion boards. I don't have a um, specific link here. I do have the students go out um, via directly from their weekly folder. Um, and for this particular one, um, I would like to just share an introductory um, discussion board. This is another way that um, it gives you a really good opportunity to have the students introduce themselves to each other and um, just that getting to know one another and creating that community of learners. Um, I like to have them do something different but um, like you know tell me one thing that no one else knows about you but just remember that this is a really great opportunity to get that um, collaboration started. I also always provide them with a um, video of how to participate in a discussion board as a student just in case that they are not aware of to do that. So once again a discussion board would be considered if it's over the um, considered an asynchronous tool and it's giving you an opportunity to create interactions between the students and actually between you as the faculty. I always like to um, include a welcome one on that. So that's um, one tool that can be used um, asynchronously. Another one in Blackboard would be your blog and I'm just going through tools to go and grab that to share with you. Make sure I went right over it. And um, blogs can be used for multiple multiple different ways. I've put them in for groups to use and then I also use them um, as an opportunity for uh, the class to create their own or to share their technology tools that they found. So blogs are a little bit easier to collaborate on. You can just um, showcase, it's easier to showcase an ad than a discussion board and it's usually all one thread. So wikis do um, are similar in that except that in a wiki you can go ahead and you can edit other people's information. Another really good idea to do is to use the email function from with Blackboard. Um, so if you don't do an introductory video, perhaps you'd like to email um, each student individually and welcome them to class personally from you. Um, once again, that would be a student to faculty interaction and that would just be starting to build that learning community. You can also consider using social networking sites. If you want to dig further into those, what I'd recommend is um, keep your eyes open for any professional development opportunities that might be available for that. So what I've just gone through here in the Blackboard shell are um, asynchron asynchronous tools. That means that you students can do these whenever they want or watch them whenever they want. Um, another really nice thing within the Blackboard um, site is called a tool that's called Blackboard Ultra and it would be considered a synchronous tool. So that means students can all participate live at the same time. So let's go ahead and just open that up. 
And we have the Ultra version of Blackboard Collaborate right now, um, which is very robust. You notice that I just clicked on that, and um, it took me automatically into Blackboard Ultra. It's going to be going around for a little while. And maybe this one is not going to come up. Um, but um, I will do another video on Blackboard Ultra to show you how it has been used. And the great piece about Blackboard Ultra is um, very easy for students to join live at the same time. They can see and hear one another as long as they have a really good, as long as they have a decent internet connection. So that's Blackboard Ultra. Um, some ideas on how to use that. You can um, hold your office hours that way so students don't have to drive off to campus. Um, I've heard of faculty that have set up groups in their course so students can meet when they want. This is a good opportunity for student-to-student -student interaction. Um, you can have a guest speaker attend class via uh, Blackboard to Collaborate so that they you can actually have experts' um, opinions. And you can also use this tool to provide those weekly introductions and our summary of what um, was covered the week before in your class. So that tool that I just explained to you is called Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. And look for another video on that to show you how to use, to use that a little bit more. I apologize, I, my session didn't come up. Um, and finally, another tool to consider with Office 365, we do have um, Skype available, and you can use that for video conferencing very easily as well. There are multiple other tools available out there, um, but the intent for this video was to share with you ways to build collaboration um, within your online courses with tools that you already have. Once again, this is Pat Milkey, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact, um, to contact me.